Hello everybody, welcome back to The Breakdown, I'm Tone, it's fantastic to have you joining in uh, on one of my videos on this channel, I really do appreciate um, every single view uh, that I get, it's a humble little channel, uh, but I do just humbly thank you for being here and watching it. Today, as you've probably already discovered, the Reserve Bank of Australia has raised rates by another 25 basis points. So we're now up a total of 2.5% on what we were at the beginning of the year. And it wasn't until May before they hit us with the first uh, 25 basis point hike. Then there was four consecutive 50 basis points hikes and then um, today we got the uh, second 25 basis point hike. So where does that leave us? Does it suggest that the Reserve Bank is done raising rates? The effect on the share market here today was over 3% gains. Um, there weren't very many stocks that went down. The majority well and truly went up. Excitement in the market because the market was overly expecting um, a 50 basis point rate hike, me included. Um, I was not at all surprised that we got a rate hike. Um, but yeah, I was a little surprised that it was only a 25 basis point uh, rise. But as, as I say, where does that leave us? I don't believe for a second that it suggests that we are done uh, with expecting further rate hikes. Um, and look, They'll, they'll throw out things like we're trying to make sure we avoid a recession, but we're also trying to rein in inflation um, and you know, all of that sort of cockamamie bull dust. Um, but they'll, they'll use that as excuses. Now, anyone that's awake enough knows that it's bull dust. Unfortunately, the majority don't know that. They don't get it. Um, now... <laughs> Why would they, if they were really, really wanting to um, rein in inflation like they say and get a hold of that, uh, even if they went into a bit of a um, recession, which we're already in, I think it's really important to understand that we're actually already in one. The, the metrics that show we're in one come out once you're already in one. Um, so, look, it wouldn't surprise me if 2023 and 2024 um, were pretty serious. Things get pretty dicey by that stage. Again, hey, we were only expecting rates to rise by 2023, 2024, right? Um, and, I mean, take it, take, take what I'm saying... Um, for what it is, just some random guy talking on a YouTube video on a humble little YouTube channel, um, you know, but um, things are going to get dicey, that's just my uh, take on it. I said in October last year, so basically a year ago, that rates would rise this year, majority of people, especially experts, um, economists were all saying, nah, 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 every, everything is indicating that everything is good and we're not going to need it. In my mind, from what I could see a year ago, it was far from the truth. And now here we are. And I'm looking forward to 2023 and 2024 and expecting things to be, as I said, rather dicey. But again, just... Um, Believe what you would like to believe. Please, please, please do your own research. That's all I can say. Um, 
I just want to throw back to um, 2011, 2012, um, when I purchased my first uh, investment property. Now, at the time, there were a few others that were in a similar position to me. They were purchasing investment properties, farms. And I said at the time, don't lock in your rates. Rates are going down. And over quite a number of years, a lot slower than what they're going back up, rates dropped down to 0.1 of 1%, um, the lowest in history. And um, that wasn't an accident. Even back a decade ago, I understood the markets. That wasn't an accident. This isn't an accident either. I understand what they're doing. I've said in other videos, when you understand the game plan that is being enacted, it's not difficult to predict the movements that they're going to make. Unfortunately, most people are so distracted by trying to just make ends meet. They're distracted by family stuff. They're distracted by the world around them. And they miss the subtle hints that are everywhere that indicate what's coming next. So that's why I do this humble little channel. It's not to toot my own horn. I've been right majority of the time. That's not the point. <clears throat> I was just talking with a mate of mine, <clears throat> or chatting with a mate of mine, and they made a very, very good point. And that is that if my channel wasn't so small and humble and got more airtime, got more exposure, I'd be shut down in an instant, just like other names. I'm not going to use names because algorithms on here pick this stuff up. But look, people who are telling the truth, they get silenced everywhere. Take the, even my little humble channel has been silenced on a couple of things. The last 30 months, uh, let's just cast our minds back to August of 2020 I said that certain things would come into place in regards to the <coughs> and by 2021 October bang one key thing came into play now I did videos all through 2020 and the beginning of 2021 talking about these things several of these videos were removed from my humble little channel were removed the month. In fact, a, about a week after the announcement was made here that those actions would be put in place here last year in order to be able to go to work. So even, yeah, so I'm, I'm lucky that it was just sort of a little tiny warning or something and a couple of videos removed. So I'm a little bit more careful about my wording and what I say. But make no mistake, I understand that if this channel got too big, that it would get silenced just for the things that I talk about on here. Anyway, um, as I said, I do believe that um, this is one of those little opportunities for Again, those that understand how this is playing out are going to take advantage of a bit of a rally, a dead cat bounce, if you will, in the markets. I do believe that that's going to occur. Um, I'm going to take full advantage of that where I can. Um, but I do believe we're still heading down in, in most markets except commodities. Um, I'll touch on uh, a couple of commodities in a moment. But I do believe that... Um, this is just an excuse for a month of, I mean, they've, they've just been talking about pretty much everywhere, October, you know, it's going to be apocalyptic, we expect more losses, we've had August and September not being so great, especially September, come into October, it's going to be, and then what do we get? We get 25 basis point rise, and the market gets giddy. So um, that's a pretty good Thing to use when you hear in the propaganda ministries um, 
you hear about things are going to be one way, do the opposite, and you're most likely going to come out far better off. Um, it's just a really good example of that. So I do believe um, that um, come November and December, we may have more rate hikes. Um, again, I'm going to have to you know, feel out what I'm hearing and, and that over this month to be able to make a, excuse me, um, more accurate prediction. But that's just my thoughts on it at the moment. Um, so the markets are giddy. Um, I reckon we're going to have a couple of weeks of uh, a bit of a bounce. Um, and speaking of bounces, oh boy, um, for any of you that follow this channel but don't look at the markets very much, please go and check out what Silver has done uh, just since about two weeks ago. We were pretty much in a second dead cat bounce scenario of around about $25 something an ounce Australian. Um, our dollar did drop some, which is always going to put upward pressure um, on commodities because everything's priced in US dollars. But <laughs> currently, I think we're around $32.40 something. That's, an, that's a crazy increase in the space of a month. Not even a month. Um, and um, as you know, if you follow this channel, I am um, very much into uh, silver and gold and talk about that on my Real Money playlist. So by all means, go and check that out. Please watch it from the start to where it's up to if you haven't watched any because they're done in a, a specific order, especially the first, first few. Um, that's important. I've done it in that way to be more helpful. Um, but please go and check that out for more in-depth talking about um, precious metals and real money. <clears throat> but understand just simply that gold is an inflation hedge and silver is basically a hedge against, you know, uh, financial annihilation. And for silver to be doing this at the moment, it's just something to watch. Um, my bullion dealer has mostly been cleaned out of stock in the last couple of weeks just prior to this huge rise. So it's just something to keep in mind. Um, so please, if you have uh, any interest in wanting to protect yourself against all the things that are going on, um, your financial uh, security and that sort of thing, please go and check out uh, that playlist of mine. And Again, do your own research. Don't take my word for anything. Just um, please go and check that out. It's there for you for free. <clears throat> uh, I take the time because I just, if I get a couple of people that hear it and benefit from it, brilliant. That's that's all I get out of it. Um, look, that's really all I wanted to share. Um, I believe that we've got plenty coming um i've been preparing all of this year for this kind of scenario it's playing out not too dissimilar to what i was expecting um i just believe that this is a a ploy by the central bank to make people feel somewhat like we might be coming out the other side of it of course that increases consumer spending to some degree <clears throat> Consumer confidence increases a bit. Um, maybe it puts a bit of a dampener on the drop in, in property prices that has already started to occur. But look, I still foresee a very big increase in property defaults, um, home, home loan defaults, mortgage defaults. I, it, <clears throat> I still firmly believe that that's coming. Um, and... Um, I mean, I'm positioning myself for that very thing. Um, and that's just what I'm doing. Um, so I really encourage all of you, if you're watching this video and you're hearing what I'm saying, do your research, don't get caught out. Um, and um, please, if you've got any comments, I always ask this, if you've got any comments or you've got any questions that you would like me to cover in more depth, 
Um, give me some ideas of what you need talked about, what you need to hear. Um, if I know the answers uh, or have some sort of insight in it, I will share it. If not, I will be able to go and do a bit of research and I might learn something as well. So everybody benefits. But that offer is always open. Please leave a comment if you've got any questions. Um, I always encourage you to subscribe to my channel. Although, you know what, if it gets too big, maybe I get too noticed, I get shut down. So there's always that too. But until that, until that day occurs, until I do get shut down um, and completely censored, I will continue to do this to the best of my ability. Um, that is my commitment to this. Um, and um, always, if you can, take two seconds and like my videos because they do get them ranked up, get them re recommended to people who are not subscribers. Because even if people don't subscribe, but they get it recommended, they might hear what I'm saying. They might get some benefit too. And that's the small bit that you can do that may actually get the message out there. Even if there's no subscriptions from that, it doesn't matter. The message will still get a little further. And that's the little bit that you can do. Um, and that helps me feel a little more encouraged as well. Thank you for joining me on the breakdown. Thank you for joining me on this video. I really do appreciate every single view that I get. I appreciate all correspondence, comments, likes, subscriptions. I really do appreciate you. Uh, and until next time, may God bless you and your families. And bye for now.